Hi. First of all, a big thank you to anyone who subscribed to this channel. That's a thousand subscribers, so that's absolutely crazy. Thanks very much. Who knew that a thousand people would listen to me prattling on about coffee, let alone subscribe to hear more about it. So thanks very much for everyone who subscribed and liked the videos. That's amazing. Now today I'm going to look at the top five accessories that you can have for your coffee machine that cost under £20, or if you're in the States, probably under $20 because it's kind of the same deal. Now the first and most important thing, now the first and most important thing um, I think to go with any coffee machine is a set of scales. Now these ones cost under £20 on Amazon, I think they're £17. They come with a little silicon mat that goes on the top so you don't spill coffee all in the scales. And there they are. Um, the, the most important thing about them is that you can see they go down to 0.1 of a gram, which means that you get a nice accurate um, measure so you can stay very consistent when you are measuring your coffee. They seem to be fairly consistent as well. If I go back with a known thing, it does seem to give you know, within 0.1 of a gram, uh, the same weight. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, the accuracy, or at least the consistency of the uh, of the measuring as well. Um, like when I just put that silicon mat on there, it's just gone back to 0.0, .0 grams, which is where I uh, zeroed it to. So. Item number two is a palm tamper slash distributor. Now you can see on the bottom of this, it's got this, um, chamfered section here and what that does is when you put it down if you turn it clockwise it just smooths the coffee and presses it uniformly into the basket you can set the height at which it presses it and it basically what it does is when you're tamping it removes the temptation of accidentally pressing down on one side more than the other which can lead to an uneven distribution and coffee going through the cup wrong it always presses it down to the correct amount and it just makes it really easy to get consistent results. You don't have to worry about how hard you're pressing it, it's gonna go down to the right level and you just push it on and twist it in a couple of turns and it's polished, smooth, jobs are good. You can also use it that way up if you don't want the, um, the smoothing section. So it's really good, um, really easy to use, no messing about. Uh, the only thing that I will say with it, at least with this particular design of them, is that as you extend it, you get a little lip there and coffee does get stuck in there, which means that after sort of a few goes, you end up with a little rim of coffee around there. It doesn't make a lot of difference, but when you're moving it about, it can drop a couple of um, coffee grind bits everywhere. So uh, watch out for that. But again, really good value. I think this one cost about 20 pounds. So um, that's probably my second most useful and favorite um, accessory. Third is a dosing funnel. Now this is specific for the Sage Barista Touch. Um, in fact, I think actually any um, Sage coffee machine with uh, this size of basket. So have a look for your own coffee machine at the size of the basket for a dosing funnel. Now this, for this machine, it's really good because it's got, you see these um, little sticky out bits. When you put this onto the basket, goes on it twists to lock it doesn't quite go all the way around which I don't know whether it's a machining defect whatever but it doesn't make any difference it works it goes on like that and this little novel here presses in against the back which activates the grinder in this machine um, now if your machine doesn't have an automatic grinder or doesn't have a grinder whatever it doesn't matter whichever grinder you use it just means that all of the the grinds go nice into the basket and don't overflow out the top. So you can then pat it down, take this off, and then you've not got grinds going everywhere. Um, it's a surprisingly useful, surprisingly straightforward piece of kit. It's really good. And whilst we're on that, number four is a WDT, basically a needle distribution tool. Uh, and what it is, is a block with some acupuncture needles stuck in it. Now, you could buy one of these. They're relatively cheap. This one is a bit rubbish, so I'm gonna put a link in the description to a different one, actually, because the needles seem to keep falling out of this one. But if you don't want to buy it, 
you can save yourself a little bit of money by making it yourself with a cork from a wine bottle or a champagne bottle, whatever, and some acupuncture needles. Uh, once you don't hurt yourself when you're making it, because the number of times that I've stuck these down my fingernails is ridiculous. Um, but essentially what you do with this is you distribute the coffee that's in your basket. And what it does is it breaks up any clumps of coffee that are together, which means that you get a nice even dis uh, distribution of the coffee in the basket and a nice even extraction because you don't have big clumps and then coffee channeling around those clumps. So it gives you the most consistent pour. If you do get one of these needle distributors, um, then as I say, this is not the best sort where the needles are pushed in from the top because they tend to go into like a foam bit and then after they've been jiggled around a bit, they tend to fall out. Uh, this type where it unscrews and you put them in is much better because once you've screwed it back together, then they can't fall out. Uh, so that's just, uh, um, that's kind of my take on it. But um, as I say, you can make your own for cheaper. So either make your own or buy one of them. Don't buy one of them is what I would suggest. One, two, three, four, five. A knock box. Now this is a sage knock box because it goes nicely with the machine. It'll hold enough for about, I don't know, 10, 15 cups of coffee, I suppose. Uh, it's not quite big enough for, uh, certainly not for an industrial scale, but for home use, it's really good. <coughs> it's got a nice, easy to remove piece for cleaning. And again, is it an essential item? No, could you make your own? Yes, you could use any box really for knocking into. But the good thing with this is it's got this bar that runs across the top, which means you can tap out your coffee on there without it going everywhere. Um, it's really useful and it saves me walking all the way across the room to the bin because I'm lazy. Uh, finally, this one cost I think about six pounds or something, it was next to nothing. And if you get it on Wish or Timu, you can probably get it for like pence. Um, but it's just a silicon mat that just sits in front of the machine, which means that when I'm making my coffee, I invariably spill coffee beans everywhere, that they don't get all over the worktop and make a mess. It stays roughly on there, roughly, and makes it easier to clean. So that is my final sort of ex essential gadget, really. Um, there is probably a few others that I use regularly, but those are kind of the main ones. So for, you know, under a hundred quid, you could save yourself a lot of time, effort and hassle. As I say, none of these items are uh, sponsored in any way. So I'll leave a link in the description down to um, examples of all of those. Feel free to deviate from that. If you find a better one that's better value, then uh, knock yourself out. But that's just my two pence worth of what will make your life easier. Um, and they were kind of in order, so if you were gonna get one and you've just got a spare 20 pound, maybe go for the scales first. Um, they make the biggest difference to your coffee. So I cannot understate the importance of a good set of scales. Cheers. One final bonus item that you can get for under 20 quid is a screen. Uh, which you can also get paper ones of these if you've got an AeroPress or if you've ever used an AeroPress. The paper filters that go on the AeroPress are the same size as your basket. Or you can get a stainless steel screen and it just goes on top of your coffee like that. And it makes a huge difference for how easy it is to clean the machine. Um, now, it doesn't really affect the extraction in any way. It is just for convenience, but it means that the coffee doesn't go up and touch the shower screen under here, which makes this bit a lot easier to clean because it doesn't have coffee stuck to it. So um, if you're wanting another thing or if you've already got all of those things or you're looking for a present for someone, these stainless steel coffee screen Make sure that you get the right size one as well. So have a look, uh, make sure, because they come in different sizes. This is a 54 mil one for a, a, a Barista Touch. So uh, you can catch yourself out with the different sizes depending on the machine, but they are really good. Reusable, washable, jobs are good. And if, um, if you just want to save yourself the hassle and you've got some paper ones, they work perfect.